Let me give you a quick tour of the Sculpt Layers add-on. Alright guys, how's it going? A very quick review for today, and today we're going to take a look at the commercial add-on called Sculpt Layers. Now, if you're used to layers inside of ZBrush, and you're missing this functionality in Blender, it might be worth sticking around. Now just for transparency, so everybody's on the exact same page, the developer did reach out, there is an affiliation link down below, but I'm not here to sell you a product, I'm here to give an honest review. Now, just before I even start, I want to give a background information regarding the developer. This is from Paul, aka Myth. Now, if you've ever used Mira Tools, it's the exact same developer. And this is his very first commercial add-on. It's available for $22 in Gumroad. Personally, I find this a little bit expensive for the Blender market. I think overall for the functionality, it's worth the money. But I think, yeah, it can maybe come down a few bucks. But hey, what can I do about it? So let's take a quick look at the add-on. Now as you can see here, it's inside of the end panel on the right hand side, I'm inside of sculpt mode, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new layer. Now we can rename this to anything we want, so we'll just call this top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sculpt in something badly, we'll just do something like this. Now once I'm happy with the sculpt, I can hit save layer, and that's us, we're pretty much done. Now this is great for doing things like deformation, wrinkles, skin, it's pretty much endless to be honest. And if you're used to ZBrush and you know about the layer system, it's pretty much needed inside of Blender, so it's nice to have this functionality. Now what I can do is I can toggle this on and off whenever I want, and what I can do here is I can actually control the opacity. Now I've actually had access to this add-on for the last couple of weeks, and I've held back on reviewing it. And the reason I've done this is because I felt the add-on had to mature a little bit. Now, as of yesterday, the developer came out with version 0.3, and we now have things like the opacity slider, and it's a little bit more refined. I think he actually went back to the drawing board and rewrote it from the ground up. So this is one thing that I actually wanted to pick up on. The developer is paying attention. Now, I had an issue with the dialog box. It was causing an error. I got in contact with him over on Twitter, and within the next day, he had a fix. And it's kind of ignited some users. So you've got triple N games coming out here with his shape layers panel. So this kind of complements it, to be honest. And it's good just seeing a developer actually sit back, listen, pay attention, and actually build a better tool. Now, obviously, sculpt layers is a little bit more in depth than to what I'm actually showing. You can change things like the layer order, you can save the base mesh, and he's now added this new duplicate function, which I'm not entirely sure what it's about, I'll need to take a look. But that really is sculpt layers, it lets you sculpt in layers in Blender. Do me a favour guys, please support third party developers. Follow me on social media links, you know what to do. Take care.